The idea of Germany as an individual region in Europe can be tracked back to the era of the Roman commander, Julius Caesar. He had conquered Gaul and referred to the unconquered area, which was further east of the Rhine, as Germania. The Germanic tribes won the Battle of Teutoburg Forest in 9th AD against the Roman Empire. After the fall of the Roman Empire, the West Germanic tribes were conquered by the Franks. Later, when the Frankish Empire was divided among the heirs of Charlemagne in 843, the eastern part came to be known as East Francia. Otto I became the first emperor of the Holy Roman Empire in 962. During the High Middle Ages, the emperors were the ones who gave power and titles to the bishops, dukes and princes. In the year 1517, Martin Luther headed the Protestant Reformation in contradiction to the Catholic churches, converting the entire northern states into Protestants, while the southern states remained Catholic. There was a 30 years long war between the two parts of the Holy Roman Empire from the year 1618 to 1648. It had a catastrophic effect on the 20 million civilians of that time. 1648 finally saw the end of Holy Roman Empire and the rise of a modern nation state system. With that, Germany was divided into several independent states like Bavaria, Saxony, and Prussia. Germany saw the French Revolution and Napoleonic Wars in the years 1803 to 1815. With time, feudalism fell away, patriotism and liberalism clashed with their response. The March Revolution in the year 1848 was a failure. Though the Industrial Revolution rationalized the economy of Germany, which led to rapid growth, the cities and emergence of the socialist movement. Berlin, a big city, grew in power and became the capital of Prussia. The universities of Germany became excellent centers for study of humanities and science. Music and art flourished with the same flair. Amalgamation of the two only happened after the formation of the German Empire in the year 1871, led by Otto von Bismarck, the Prussian Chancellor. By 1900s, Germany was a dominant power on the continent with its rapidly expanding industrial economy. In the World War I, 1914 to 1918, Germany had much to do in leading the central powers against few states. The German Revolution of 1918 to 1919 overthrew many kings and princes of their titles, leading to the foundation of an unstable parliamentary democracy known as the Weimar Republic. The year 1930 was a depressing year for the people of Germany. Unemployment soared and people lost hope in the government. This, in turn, gave way to the rise of Nazis. Adolf Hitler came to power in the year 1933 and established his dictatorship. The aggressive Nazi policies initiated the World War II. In 1941, the systematic genocide known as the Holocaust killed millions of innocent people. The United States entered the war in 1942. Germany fought, however, they finally collapsed in May 1945. The German territories were split. Cold War resulted in the country to divide into the Communist East Germany and the Democratic West Germany. Millions of indigenous Germans found it outrageous to stay in the communist areas and fled to the West Germany instead. Rapid economic growth was experienced by the West Germany and soon it became a dominant economy in Western Europe. West Germany found its way in the European Union through the Franco-German friendship, which led to the political integration. The Berlin Wall was destroyed and East Germany was reunited with West Germany in the year 1990. Germany was one of the founding countries of the Eurozone and till today remains the economic powerhouse of Europe. Prehistory Human presence in Germany at least 600,000 years back was proved when the Moya 1 mandible was discovered in 1907. In 1995, 380,000-year-old javelins made of wood 
measuring 6 to 7.5 feet, about 1.8 to 2.3 meter long, were unearthed in a coal mine in Schoningen, Germany. These weapons are considered to be the oldest to be found anywhere in the world. The first non-modern human fossil was unearthed in the Neander Valley, Germany, in 1856, and the new species of man was named as Neanderthal man. The fossils of the first Neanderthal are about 40,000 years old, and evidence of modern humans of about the same age has been discovered in the caves of Swabian Jura, near Ulm. The excavations also include a 42,000-year-old bird bone and flutes made of mammoth ivory. These are the oldest musical instruments to have been unearthed. There was a 35,000-old uncontested human figurative art which has been discovered. This Venus of Hollefels is the oldest among all figurative arts to be unearthed, and then there is the oldest uncontested figurative art known as the Lowermensch figurine discovered, which is 40,000 year old and belongs to the Ice Age. Germanic Tribes 750 BC to 768 AD Conquest and Migration The origin of the Germanic tribe is presumed to have transpired in the Nordic Bronze Age, or latest by the pre-Roman Iron Age. Their original homes was the southern Scandinavia and northern Germany. Eventually, the tribes began expanding to the south, west and east during the 1st century BC. They came in contact with the Celtic tribes, who were of Gaul, the Baltic, Iranian and Slavic tribes as well, mixing with the cultures of the Central and Eastern Europe. The researchers have little knowledge about the early activities of the Germanic tribes. With the help of archaeological finds and etymological researches, researchers have been able to record few interactions of the tribe with the Roman Empire. In the beginning of the 1st century AD, the Roman legions led movement in the east of Rhine and upper Danube regions of Germania. The Romans did this in an effort to expand their empire's frontier. Rome subdues many Germanic tribes like the Cherusci. The tribe learned all the warfare tactics of the Romans. The Cherusci chieftain, known as Arminius by the Romans, defeated the Roman army in the Battle of the Teutoburg Forest, fought in 9th AD. The victory of the tribes marked the beginning of the German recorded history and put a complete stop on the Romans' advance towards the Germanic territories of the eastern parts of Rhine. In the 3rd century, West Germanic tribes emerged, seven tribes moved west and witnessed the fall of the Roman Empire and the formation of the old Western Roman Empire. By the end of the 4th century, the unoccupied areas of Germany were invaded by the Huns, thus starting the migration period. Stem, Duchies and Marches the stem duchies or tribal duchies originated as the regions of the Germanic tribes of a particular terrain. The idea of duchies like this endured specifically in the regions which later became part of East Francia like Swabia, Bavaria, Thuringia, Franconia and Saxony rather than the advanced west in Middle Francia like Lorraine and Burgundy. Germanic migrations or Volkewanderung in the 5th century brought many barbaric tribes into the already dying Roman Empire. The original tribes of Saxons, Burgundians, Alemanni, Franks, Rugi and Thuringi had become stem duchies. Unlike the later duchies, these bodies did not have proper defined administrative confines, but came close to the area where most of the Germanic tribes had settled. In the next few hundreds of years, the tribes migrated, merged and battled and ultimately all of them were conquered by the Franks. Nevertheless, remains of many stem duchies can be seen in Western Europe as modern states and regions. German states like Saxony and Bavaria and German regions like Swabia, some of the French regions are Lorraine and Burgundy or French Comte ruler of East Germany discovered many border counties of marches. Towards north, the lands comprised of Lusatia, Billing March, Prussia and a North March, which later became Brandenburg. Citria, 
Carniola and March of Austria, which later became Austria, were among the South Marches. Frankish Empire In the 5th century, the Western Roman Empire also fell. The Franks built their own empire under the Merovingian kings, conquering the neighbouring Germanic tribes. The Merovingian king conquered the northern Gaul in 486 AD. In 496 AD, after the Battle of Torbjörg, Swabia became a duchy under the Frankish Empire. The Merovingian kings conquered many Germanic kingdoms and tribes in the 5th and 6th centuries. Out of all the kings, King Clotha I, who reigned from 558 to 561 AD, ruled the parts of Germany and made excursions to Saxony. Semi-autonomous dukes like local rulers or Franks were put in charge of various regions of the Frankish Empire. The local Germanic tribes were forced to embrace. Christianity by the Frankish colonists the northeastern part of the Merovingian Franks came under the region of Austrasia. The regions which came under Austrasia are today's parts of France, Belgium, Germany, Luxembourg and Netherlands. With the death of King Clovis I in 511, the kingdom was divided into four among the four sons. Austrasia had a rough time being tossed back and forth from royal subjugation to autonomy as the successive kings subdivided and united Frankish lands from time to time. Pippin III, who was the major of the palace in 751, self-proclaimed himself to be the king and got himself anointed by the church. After that instance, the kings were known to be the protectors of the Pope. Charles the Great, Ruler of the Franks from 774 to 814 propelled a military campaign against the Saxons and Avars, who had been rivals of the Franks. The Franks overcame both the rivals and forced the people to convert to Christianity and seize their lands to create the Carolingian Empire. Middle Ages Charles the Great Charles was the son of the Frankish king Pepin the Short, who dies in the year 768 AD. On taking over the rule of his father, Charles amalgamated the control over his kingdom and came to be known as Charles the Great of Charlemagne. He extended the Carolinian Empire into northern parts of Italy and all the territories of the west of Germany. Finally, in 800, his authority was confirmed by the Pope, who crowned him Emperor on the Christmas Day in Rome. The Carolinian Empire was divided into several parts according to the Treaty of Verdun in the year 1843, Treaty of Mersenne in the year 870 and the Treaty of Ribemont because the grandchildren of Charles the Great fought for it amongst each other. Otto the Great Otto I was crowned as the king in 936. At Aachen in 962, the Pope crowned him emperor in Rome, with which the Holy Roman Empire was inaugurated, which is identified with Germany. He strengthened the authority of the royal power by reasserting the old Carolinian rights over church appointments. Otto grappled from the aristocrats the power of appointment of abbots and bishops who controlled properties of land. Otto also invigorated the old practice of assigning missionaries in the border areas. He continued to support celibacy for the higher priesthood so that the appointments did not become hereditary. By letting the bishops and abbots have pieces of lands, Otto actually made them the princes of the empire. This way, he was able to institute a national church. There were many battles that were all won by Otto. This kept the rivals away. He marched on Rome and overthrew John XIII from the papal throne, henceforth the controlled the election of the Pope and set a strong example of the regal control over the papacy. At time of the reign of Henry III, from 1039 to 1056, Clunian reforms of the church were supported by the empire. The Cluniac reforms mainly followed prohibition of buying clerical offices, the peace of God and celibacy for all priests. Royal authority over the Pope had reached its peak. 
There rose a controversy between Pope Gregory VII and Henry VI over the appointments to church offices. This investiture controversy came to an end with the submission of the emperor to the pope at Canossa in the year 1077, after being removed. In the year 1122, a temporary resolution was sought between the pope and Henry V with the Concordat of Worms. As a result of the investiture dispute, the Ottonian churches were weakening and the imperial secular princes were strengthening. Then came the age of the Crusades from year 1096 to 1291. Knightly spiritual orders were made, which included the Knights of St. John, the Knights Templar and Teutonic Order. The Hanseatic League Under the leadership of Lübeck, major trading towns came together to form the Hanseatic League, and all this happened since the long-distance trade in the Baltic increased. The League was a business alliance among the trading cities that controlled the trade in the coastal areas of the Northern Europe. The League included Cologne, Hamburg, Bremen and Lübeck. The League flourished during 1200 to 1500, thereafter its importance lessened. Expansion towards the East The colonization started in Germany, with commissioning new villages and towns in a large scale in the south inhabited territories east of the Alps, mainly Livonia, Silesia, Bohemia and Pomerania. In the beginning of the year 1226 was when the Teutonic Knights started their conquests of Prussia. The Knights conquered the native Baltic Prussians and converted them into Christians. Church and State There was years of conflict between the Church and the State for power. In 1137, Hockenstaufen family chose its successor to be Conrad III. He tried to deprive Henry the Proud of his dukedom Saxony and Bavaria. This led to a war in the southern Germany resulting in the empire to divide into factions. Welfs or Guelphs were the faction which named themselves after the family of Henry the Proud. They were the ruling house in Bavaria. The other factions were called by the name of Weiblings. Frederick I, also known as Barbarossa of the Hohenstaufen dynasty, ruled from 1086 to 1125. He tried to assert his control over Italy once again, this time he succeeded to an extent, as in the year 1177 there was an understanding drawn between the Pope of Venice and the Emperor. On the contrary, Henry the Lion was outlawed in the year 1180. Saxony was divided, Bavaria was taken over by Otto, the founder of Wittelsbach dynasty. Henry the son of Barbarossa was married to a Norman princess who was Constance of Sicily. The influence of the feudal lords were weakened by the appointment of ministerial bureaucrats. The court life blossomed, which led to the German culture and literature to develop. Frederick II, 1212 to 1250, established his administration at Sicily. He did not conflict any further with the papacy. After his death, the Hohenstaufen dynasty came to an end. This was followed by a period with no emperor. Germany and almost the entire Europe were emaciated by the Black Death in the year 1350. The Jews were mistreated on economic and religious grounds. This forced many to flee to Poland. A rough estimation of 30 to 60 percent of the Europe's population was killed in the Black Death. Change and Reformation War and plague had its disastrous effects on Germany in the 14th century. Slowly, the changes in the economy, religion and politics reformed the society of Europe into a modern one. There was social discontent amongst the peasants and knights, which rose due to money economy. Progressively, a consumerist system involved out of feudalism. The Fugger family increased in reputation by means of financial and commercial activities. It became a moneylender to both church and secular leaders. Whereas the knightly class found their domination on military and arms skills weakened by the introduction of foot soldiers and mercenary armies, the predacious activities of the robber knights became common very soon. Cities and Towns the population of Germany was 5 to 6 million, of which were most farmers who worked under monasteries and nobles. 
The towns and cities had started to emerge near the castles, monasteries and bishop houses. The small towns began to build their own liberties and municipal rights. Many cities, like the Cologne, managed to become an imperial free city, which meant that they were directly answerable to the emperor and did not take orders from the bishops or princes. The towns were governed by merchants and the rest of it was divided into strict delineated classes, which involved the physicians, clergy, craftsmen and peasants. The paupers were not given citizenship. Rising of political tension was normal in the town regarding tax, market supervision, public spending and regulations of business. Escolon was certainly situated in the between the major trade routes of the East and the West, it became the major reason for the growth of the city. The archbishops built the great Cologne Cathedral and secured sacred relics in it. This made Cologne a major tourist attraction and sacred place for worshippers. By the year 1288, the city found its independence from the archbishops, who had been ruling the Cologne and was instead ruled by burghers thereafter. Women the Salic law in the early times did not allow women to inherit property, even the widows required a male caretaker to represent them in the court. This law clearly barred women from royal succession. Until the 18th century when the new Bavarian law was enforced, wives were physically assaulted without any law stopping them to do so. The Bavarian law gave a little leverage to the women to pursue their passion and accomplish in fields like medicine, music, politics and religion. Science and Culture In the year 1439, Johannes Gutenberg invented the movable printing machine. It was his invention that had started the printing evolution. Albrecht Dürer established his reputation as a mathematician, theorist, painter, engraver and printmaker across Europe in the 15th and 16th centuries. He is remembered as an important figure of the Northern Renaissance. He had achieved all this fame in a mere age of 20 to 30 years. Early Modern Germany Reformation in the 16th century, there was a lot of dissatisfaction among the people regarding the selling of easier ways to repent for sins and many desire to reform. Finally, in the year 1517, Martin Luther stood boldly, voicing the desire of many by pasting copies of 95 faces in the town square and handing them out to German nobles. The list mainly stressed on the affirmations that Luther believed showed misguidance and corruption within the Holy Church. Luther also disagreed with the power that the Pope and the higher clergy held and he insisted that they abuse their powers by selling easier way of repenting for sins. Though Luther was prescribed in the year 1521, the reformation he had started spread quickly. This was further helped by Emperor Charles V. Luther hid in the Wartburg Castle, where he translated the Bible from Latin to German and recognized the base of German language. An interesting fact is that the language which Luther spoke was of less significance in Germany, but after his translated Bible was published. His dialect took over the other languages and became of what is modern German. The German peasants followed the teachings of the reformers and revolted against the ruling authorities of Franconia, Swabia and Thuringia in 1524. Although the rebellions were aided by skilled nobles like Florian Geyer, Thomas Munzer and Gotts von Berlichingen, the regional princes soon suppressed the insurgents. Around 100,000 German farmers were killed in the revolt. The protestation at the imperial. Diet of Speyer was rejected by the Lutheran at Augsburg in 1530 and a new Lutheran church was established. In 1545, Germany saw Counter-Reformation, also known as the Catholic Reformation or the Catholic Revival. The Reformation was an answer to the Protestant Reformation and the foundation of the Catholic Reformation was the formation of Council of Trent from 1545 to 1563 and it ended with the Thirty Years' War in 1648. 
The Jesuit order instituted by Ignatius of Loyola provided the main force. The northeastern and central Germany were almost Protestants, and the southern and western Germany were completely Catholics. An association of Protestant rules, known as Schmalkaldic League, was subjected by Holy Roman Emperor Charles V in 1547. In 1555, the Lutheran faith was recognized with the Peace of Augsburg, but the treaty also stated that the religion of the state would be the religion which the ruler followed. The Protestant Union and Catholic Leagues were established in 1608 and 1609 respectively. Thirty Years' War, 1618 to 1648 the empire was submerged in war and conflicts between the Protestants and Catholics for 30 years. Sometimes the situations were out of control and thousands of soldiers died of hunger, plague and murder. Heavy taxes were levied, livestock of the farmers and their food were taken away without payment. There was a time of unrest during these 30 dark years. The population dropped immensely and the war ended with peace of Westphalia in 1648. Culture, Literacy and Science With the translation of Bible, literacy spread throughout Germany. There were now pamphlets and religious books which were being distributed and by 1530 there were 10,000 publications that printed 10 million copies. Lucas Cranach the elder was a famous painter and a close friend of Luther. He exemplified Luther's theology for a common audience. He sensationalized Luther's opinions on the connection between the Old and New Testaments while being watchful of Luther's cautions differences about appropriate and indecorous uses of visual imagery. Many scientific developments took place in the fields of mathematics, physics and astronomy in the 16th and 17th centuries. De Revolutionibus Orbium Celestium, published by Nicolaus Copernicus, was the first complete heliocentric cosmology which moved the Earth from the centre of the universe. Johannes Kepler was known for his laws of planetary motion and his books Harmonicus Mundi and Astronomia Nova were well known. 1648 to 1815 Wars and smaller states Parts of Lorraine and Alsace were captured by Louis XIV of France. He also attacked and destroyed the electorate of Palatinate in the War of Palatinian Succession. Hungary was taken back from the Turks and Habsburgs developed Austria into a powerful kingdom. Frederick II the Great played an important role in the expansion of Germany. He was a military genius and was famous for the reorganization of Prussian armies. The nobility and the citizens resisted from 1763 and Enlightenment absolutism was established in Austria and Prussia and the ruler reigned as per the best principles of the philosophers. Many legal reforms happened, torture of citizens was abolished and the situation of the Jews improved. Liberation of the peasants began and education was made compulsory for all. Prussia initiated separation from Poland and Austria and Russia followed after a few years of resistance from Prussia. Poland finally became independent in 1918. The smaller German states were eclipsed by Austria and Prussia and were frequently ignored by rulers who indulged in worldly pleasures because of which they grew in debt with no centers for growth. Bavaria was one of these states. Although Saxony was doing well financially, its administration was completely haywire. Wetten and Württemberg were in no good shape as the rulers' greed for power and excessive spending on celebrations, hunting expeditions and mistresses led to their downfall. No one was interested in forming a proper government. From 1807 to 1871, Prussia took over most of the smaller states and founded the German Empire but by 1930, it lost its individuality and had little importance left. French Revolution, 1789 to 1815 The Germans had a mixed reactions towards the French Revolt. 
The German intellects rejoice the outburst and hope that reason and the alignment would win. In 1793, the French king was executed and a period of violence took over the middle classes. The reformers said that the violence could be ended by the Germans as they were capable to change laws and establishments in a non-violent way. Austria and Prussia invaded the French in 1792, but they lost in the Battle of Valmy. Prussia and Austria ended their already lost battle with France, but shared Poland with Russia in 1793 and 1795. France subjugated Rhineland and encouraged freedom of religion, obliterated feudalism, emancipated the Jews, forced nobleness to share their powers with middle class and opened the bureaucracy to common people with talent. Kingdom of Westphalia was established by Napoleon and transformed and rationalized the western regions of Germany. Napoleon controlled most of Western Europe, all German states except Austria and Prussia. There was nothing left of the Holy Roman Empire and Napoleon removed it when he formed new countries in 1806. After the Battle of Leipzig, Napoleon's empire started to fall and was finally defeated in Waterloo by German and British armies. Prussia gained huge territories at the Vienna Peace Conference. German Confederation 1815 to 1867. A loose association of 39 states made up the German Confederation in 1815. The idea was to organize the frugalities of detached German speaking countries. It was a shield against the enormous powers of Austria and Prussia. The Confederation fell because of the enmity between Austria and Prussia, and in 1866 it was substituted by North German Confederation. Society and Economy The population between this period grew and the country became efficient in agriculture and sustained a fast-growing industrial urban financial system. Although Germany lagged behind France, Britain and Belgium in industrial development by 1900, it took pace and was one of the leaders in the world of industrialization. The Germans started working in mines, factories and railways as a result of industrialization. Most of the population had become rural and lived in cities. Railroads helped in much economic development of Germany and opened up new prospects for the local products. Engineers, architects, managers and machinists were in demand and all this led to investment in iron and coal. Earlier, the Germans bore their hardware and engineering from the British, but soon learned the skills and became self-sufficient by 1850s. By 1880, there were 9,400 locomotives in Germany who carried 43,000 passengers and 30,000 tons of products every day. The German intellects and artists were swayed by the French Revolution and by the famous German writer and poet Johann Wolfgang von Goethe and Germany so much growth in music, literature, intellectual movement and art. The period is also known as Romanticism. The famous brothers Grimm gathered famous folk stories into one book known as Grimm's Fairy Tales. There were many professors who gained international recognition in various fields. Some of them were Leopold von Ranke, Georg Wilhelm Friedrich Kergel, Friedrich Schlemacher, Alexander von Humboldt and Karl Friedrich Gauss. Politics of Restoration and Revolution The leadership of Germany fell into the hands of Austrian prince Metternich after Napoleon. There was chaos and discontentment socially and politically which led to the revolutions of 1848. The Parliament of Frankfurt was dissolved and the princes were suppressed by the military forces. German Confederation was formed once again in 1850. Many political leaders left for United States and some went into exile. In 1861, King William I reigned of the country and his important accomplishment was to appoint Otto von Bismarck as Chancellor. Field Marshal Helmut von Moltke, Defence Minister Albrecht von Roon, along with Otto von Bismarck, won of Austria, France and Denmark and united Germany. 
German Confederation was dissolved in 1886 and was replaced by North German Federation under the headship of Prussia. Austria was not included in the Confederation and the long Austrian influence on Germany finally ended. The North German Federation was a provisional organization and lasted from 1867 to 1861, after which the German Empire was founded. German Empire, 1871 to 1918. Otto von Bismarck unified Germany into German Reich and determined political affairs till 1890. He tried to raise coalitions in Europe so he could control France and amalgamate Germany's effect on Europe. He tried to curtail socialism by anti-socialist laws, which were joined with social security and health care. Bismarck also tried to lessen the administrative influence of the overgrown power of Catholic minority in the culture struggle, but the Catholics became more powerful and formed a center of centrum party. The Germans were now matching shoulders with Britain in terms of industrial and economic power by 1900, and their professional army was the best across the globe. However, the naval forces were no match against the British Royal Navy. Kaiser Wilhelm II came into power in 1888. He was young and aspiring and disliked taking advice specially from proficient statesmen and envoys. He fired Bismarck. Unlike Bismarck, Kaiser wanted Germany to follow colonialism like France and Britain and create a navy which would be equal to the British naval forces. He promoted colonialism of Asian and African countries in areas where the Europeans had not colonialized. His ways were inhuman which also led to murder of many Germans. His individual approach led to a situation where the Austrian-Hungarian crown prince was murdered which could have sparked World War I. Weimar Republic 1919-1933 The crushing terms of peace in the Treaty of Versailles it required Germany to take responsibility of Germany and her allies to have caused loss and damages in the war, incited unpleasant resentment all over Germany and completely weakened the new democratic government. The Communist Party of Germany, KDP, was founded in December 1918 and in the following year it made an unsuccessful attempt in overpowering the new republic. Adolf Hitler took control of National Socialist German Workers' Party, NSDAP, in 1919, which botched in an overthrow in Munich in 1923. Both the parties and the parties who supported the Republic built aggressive armies which engaged in street battles. Democratic support for both parties grew after 1929 when Great Depression hit the country and there were many men who were unemployed and could be used for military units. The Nazis were mostly rural and belonged to middle class families. They defeated Weimar command and took control of Germany from 1933 to 1945. The Communist Party of Germany came to power from 1949 to 1989. Nazi Germany, 1933 to 1945. Much of Germany's lost economic standards was restored by the Nazi government. They brought an end to employment by spending heavily on military and suppressed strikes and labor unions. People were happy with the Nazi rule as Germany was prospering. It faced little resistance from the German population in their rule of 12 of years. Any political upsurge was crushed by the Gestapo, or secret police, that operated under the command of Heinrich Himmler. The Jews faced a tough time, as they were forced into exile and their property was confiscated. The Nazi party too, all controls of local government, public administrations and the courts except for Catholic and Protestant churches. Josef Goebbels, who was the publicity minister of Hitler, controlled all expressions of public view. He made good use of movies, rallies and mesmerizing speeches of Hitler. The Nazis worshipped Hitler as their leader or Führer and put all powers in his hands. Hitler had a constricted variety of interests and decision-making was dispersed among intersecting, clashing power centers. On some matters he was inert, simply agreeing to compressions from whoever had his ear. 
All top representatives reported to Hitler and followed his basic rules, but they had substantial independence on daily basis. Anti-Semitism and the Holocaust The Nazis were inimical towards the Jews and were always targeted for attacks. They persuaded the Jews to look upon the Jews as subhumans and even succeeded in getting 44% votes in the parliament to boycott the business of the Jews. The first Nazi concentration camp was set up on 20th March 1935, which banned Jews from all academic positions and civil services. The Jews were stripped of German citizenship and by 1939 around 500,000 Jews left the country. Escape after that was impossible and in 1941 the Nazis set up Holocaust which exterminated all Jews, Slavs, homosexuals, gypsies, mentally and physically disabled and communists. Around 11 million people were killed in the Holocaust, out of which 1.1 million were children. Federal Republic of Germany, 1990 onwards Five re-established states in the earlier German Democratic Republic which assented to the Federal Republic of Germany with ten states upon German reunion on 3rd October 1990 is the new Federal States of Germany. The East German had obliterated the new states in 1952, had been re-established in 1990 and the states were Saxony, Brandenburg, Virginia, Mecklenburg vor Pommern and Saxony-Anhalt. Although most of the residents of Berlin are residents of former East Germany, Berlin has not been taken as one of the new states. Since the Germany has 16 states, all with same law statuses. There have been many leaders since free reunification who have helped in the growth and advancement of Germany. Gerhard Schroeder and Angela Merkel being some of the noted ones. Helmut Kohl played an important role in the European Union. When recession hit the globe in 2008, Germany fared pretty well, but the financial volatility of Greece and other European nations forced Germany to underwrite a financial rescue. Today, Germany is led by Joachim Gok, who is the head of state of Germany and the official president of the Federal Republic of Germany. The country is the biggest national economy in Europe and also the fourth largest by nominal GDP across the globe. They were one of the biggest capital exporters which recorded $285 billion worth trade in the world. The nation is rich in natural resources and has been advancing in leaps and bounds. Most of the German companies are owned by families and it is also one of the top places for trade fairs. There was a time when the Germans lacked speed in terms of growth and progress, but today speed sees no limits for Germany's progress.